Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Welcome back to another video. So thanks for tuning in and checking me out. Today we are going to be going over an Arrow Video box set here called Killer Dames. Two Gothic Chillers by Emilio P. Maraglia. And I'm glad to see that Arrow Video has been releasing some of the No Shame titles in their uh, collection, their library. They've also released um, Death Walks Twice. And they also released Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. If Arrow is watching, I would like them to release the Dark Waters set, if possible. The 1993 Dark Waters, not the 2003 Lorenzo Lamas Dark Waters. Um, no Shame is a company here that was in the U.S. And they've been defunct now for about 10 years or so. They released a lot of obscure harder to find, lesser known titles, a lot of slashers and different uh, monster, creature feature type films, a lot of giallo films, and I'm very happy that Arrow has been tapping into that vein, and this is another example here of two titles from the No Shame collection. We're going to break into this bad boy here. It's still sealed. I've had this for about a week now. I just haven't got around to making a video about it. Another beautiful box set here. It's uh, There's the spine. The night Evelyn came out of the grave and the Red Queen kills seven times. And here on the back, we'll go over the back here. I know this has been shown quite a bit already here on YouTube. But I'm going to go ahead and do my little version of the unboxing here. So here at the top it says, At the height of the Italian giallo boom in the early 70s, Scores of filmmakers turned their hand to crafting their own unique takes on these lurid murder-style mysteries. This limited edition double pack features two distinctive offerings by Emilio P. Maraglia, which meld twisty whodunit narratives with gothic chills. In The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, troubled aristocrat Alan Cunningham, played by Anthony Steffen, who also played in Jangle the Bastard, Haunted by the death of his first wife, Evelyn, tries to move on by marrying a seductive Gladys, played by Marina Malfatti, who was in All, All the Colors of the Dark. Marital bliss is short-lived, however, as various relatives meet untimely and gruesome deaths, prompting speculation that a vengeful Evelyn has risen from the grave. Meanwhile, in the Red Queen Kills Seven Times, an age-old family curse hits sisters Kitty and Franziska, following the death of their grandfather, Tobias. Every hundred years, so the legend goes, the bloodthirsty Red Queen returns and claims seven fresh victims. Was Tobias just the first? And are Kitty and Franziska next? With both films making their worldwide Blu-ray debuts in the stunning 2K restoration, there has never been a better time to explore these little scene giallo gems. The set here is limited to 3,000 copies containing The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, both brand new 2K restorations of the films with original camera negatives, high def 1080p and standard def DVD presentations. Original Italian and English soundtracks in mono audio. Uh, it has a newly translated English subtitle for the Italian soundtracks. It has optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for the English soundtracks. It has a limited edition 60-page booklet containing new writings by James Blackford, Kat Ellinger, Leonard Jacobs, and Rachel Nisbet. And I guess, you know, we'll go over the each title when we pull them out here. This is uh, Region AB and Region 1-2 on DVD. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave is from 1971, and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, 1972. I believe this title is still available, um, but it's going fast. I think Arrow Video sent an email today, and I think this was 60% sold out already. So we'll go ahead here and pop this bad boy open. Take a look at some of the insides here. And first we'll go over the box. And it's a very, very 
thick, sturdy cardboard box. Very nicely done, very uh, high quality. comes with a 60 page booklet it's set on the back so we'll kind of flip through here check it out I do enjoy giallo films and there you can see the original art for the night Evelyn came out of the grave that was back from the VHS days that was one of the more popular covers I remember seeing walking up and down the aisles of the VHS store And as always, it has, it's just loaded with info and high quality photos here from stills from the films. It even has that nice fresh new smell to it. Looking forward to checking this out. Like I said, I got this about a week ago. I'm just now opening it up. I'm going to pop in The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave tonight. I haven't seen that film since the days on VHS. I never did own the DVD. But I'm very glad to own the Arrow Blu-ray here. This is really, really nice. And there's the end. So beautiful book in a beautiful box set here. Let's take a look at the individual releases. This is the Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Probably going to flip the cover even though I haven't seen it yet because they have the same cover for the book and the box set and then the first disc so that's going to get flipped just to have a little variety so there's the blu-ray it says region b but on the back of the box set it says that it is region a b there's the dvd and then here is the reversible cover. I don't recall if I've ever seen this movie. I have heard of it. I don't think I've ever viewed this movie. So this will be a first time viewing, I believe. I've seen so many movies over the years, it's hard to keep track, but I don't recall ever seeing this one. It says, at the height of the Giallo boom in the 70s, scores of filmmakers... Okay, it already, we already covered that. In the Red Queen Kills Seven Times, we already covered all that, so I guess... Um, Let's just see here what the special edition contents are. Or did I go over all that too? Um, it has new audio commentary by Alan Jones and Kim Newman. Exclusive interview with actress Sybil Danning. It has a new interview with critic Stephen Thrower. Archival introduction by production costume designer Lorenzo Baraldi. Dead A. Porter. Archival interview with Lorenzo Baraldi. Rounding up the usual sus suspects, archival interview with actor Marino Masse. If I met Emilio Miraglia today, archival featurette with Erica Blanc, Lorenzo Baraldi, and Marino Masse. My favorite films, archival interview with actress Barbara Bouchette. Alternate opening, original Italian theatrical trailer, and reversible sleeve, which we looked at already. And there's a little box here at the bottom left-hand corner. It says not to be sold separately. So they want this to remain as a box set, I guess. I'm assuming that they're going to release these separately once this box set sells out. It's not going to take long for this to sell out. And here is The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. There's the spine. And this one here. 
has newly translated English subtitles for the Italian soundtrack. I think we did cover that. It has new audio commentary by Troy Haworth, exclusive introduction by actress Erica Blanc, new interview with critic Stephen Thrower, The Night Erica Came Out of the Grave, exclusive interview with Erica Blanc, The Whip and the Body, archival interview with Erica Blanc, Still Rising from the Grave, archival interview with production designer Lorenzo Baraldi, original Italian theatrical trailer, and reversible sleeve by artist Gillis Franck. I hope I didn't butcher that name. Let's take a look here at the inside, and then we'll wrap this up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, there on the disc, it says it's Region B, although on the back of the box, it says it's Region AB. There's the DVD. And, of course, here is the famous, this is probably one of the better original covers you'll see. This is top ten of all time, I think. That is just iconic and one that is burned in my memory as a child going up and down the aisles of the VHS stores and seeing the posters and stuff on the walls. This one is uh, a very iconic image. So that one will be flipped. I'm going to do that off camera though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys got a chance to pick this one up. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll catch you next time. Oh, I will be doing a overview of my 88 films slasher collection probably within the next couple days. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, all right. Take care.